What's up you guys, Robert here again for another Tovar guitar video lesson. Today we're going to do the song Crows by While She Sleep. This was requested by Chris Shrestha. So thank you Chris Shrestha for requesting this one. Um, if you guys like the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, drop a comment if you want to request a song. Please subscribe to my channel, then drop the comment with your request. Also make sure to follow me on social media. I post there pretty much daily. Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'll put those in the description below. Anyways, the song is actually not that hard, uh, really fun to play. The first thing you got to know is that it's tuned to drop C sharp. So the tuning would be C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and D sharp. So go ahead and get tuned and let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna break this song into uh, different riffs, like different sections. Um, not like their typical verse, chorus, bridge, solo kind of sections, just like by riff one, riff two, riff three, riff four, etc. Just because uh, this song changed so much, there was no hardly any repetition in it. So I'm just gonna go by riff. So that was the first riff. Um, so the chords is really easy. It's just on the bottom three strings. It does that two cycles. Then it does a power chord here on the eighth fret, bottom three strings, and then just once one time through, and then tenth fret right there, and just repeats it. And then over that is this riff. Okay, which is actually it's just just it's just a repeated uh, set of notes. So let me uh, get close to the camera and so you guys can see what I'm doing here. So it's, it's first string, 13th fret, and then you're gonna go third string on the 10th, and then second string on the 10th. And then 12th on the first, 13, 12, and then 10, 10 on the second and third. So, and that's one cycle of it, so. And after that many times, it goes 12, uh, 13 here on the first, and then 12, and then 10 on the second, then it repeats again. octaves and it goes uh, right here eighth fret fifth string tenth fret third string together and you, and you mute all the other strings you could use your index finger to just mute everything else and then and then you could actually just strum freely here so you're gonna go slide it up two frets frets and then slide it back to the seventh and then to the third And then it gets into the second part of that first riff where it goes up. That's all it is, it's, just, it's literally just that. And then, um, it, it's really slow too, it's hardly any strumming, it's just... And 
that's pretty much it for that first riff. So let's get into the second one. Okay, so that's like a really quick riff right after that intro part. <clears throat> so we'll just call this riff two. And it's pretty much just genty. Just, you, just gotta, you just gotta get that low E string. So the first part of it is just open. And then after that, it, it does some palm eating. So it goes. Let me see if I can get it at a better angle here. So it goes. Closer. And then it goes. And then it does these notes here. Okay, so those notes are actually very simple. It's just second string, fourth fret and then third string, seventh fret, together. That's it. You can use your pinky if you want there. I'm using my third finger, but. And remember these two notes because it comes up a lot in the song. Anyways, let's get to the next riff. Okay, so that's the the next riff right there. Uh, so again, it's a lot of like jantiness over here. So it's just open string. There's no there's no palm meeting as far as I can tell here. So it goes and followed by these notes. Those notes are all in the sixth string, except for there's one time where it gets on the fifth, eighth fret, but it's eight, five. The second uh, iteration of that is eight, five, zero, four, then eight on the fifth, really quickly. So all together. Pretty much it. Let's get into the next riff. Okay, so that's the uh, next part. So there's two riffs that are played back to back in that section. Uh, so I'll show you the first one. <clears throat> so it goes like this. Just open. Here's the, the power chords are. So all on the bottom three strings. So it's five, four, slide to four, like that. Five, slide to four, then open. Two notes I told you about earlier, they play again right there twice. And then back to the. And that time after that goes five to seven. Then it starts over. right there 
then it goes into this next riff. Okay, so those notes is uh, eight, five, open, four, open, and those are just notes, not chords. So. So let me play it nice and slow so it goes. Just like that. And then it gets into the next part, so let's get into that. Okay, so the next part is just chords. So here are the locations. First one's on the eighth fret. They're all on the sixth string, by the way. Then it goes to the fifth fret. Then it's open. Then it's the third. And then it's over here back on the eighth, but you're gonna add your third finger on the fifth string, 10th fret. Okay. She's still getting the bottom three strings only. And the last one's on the 10th fret. Actually, there's one more right towards the end, that 11th fret. Right. So I'm gonna play it nice and slow so it goes. Eight. Five. Then open. Same rhythm on the next one. like that. Okay? Then it gets into the next part. Okay, so that's the next part. Um, the beginning part of it is similar to that riff earlier, which is the open. Pretty much does that twice, but it only does that genty part the second time. So that's one second time. Then it just goes straight into that power chord. So these are the chords. So it's A and seventh. And I'm using my pinky and third finger because the next notes are over here, which is the fifth string, fourth fret, third string, sixth fret just octaves and again so you want to use your index finger to mute as many of the other strings as you can so just by laying it down and then you get this note and then you can also kind of get the sixth to mute it here with your first if not you could use your middle finger and then you can strum all the way through without getting any other notes there and then back to the seventh fret so <clears throat> so just it just goes straight down like That's it. Let me play it one more time for you guys. Okay, 
then it gets into the next part, so let's get into that. That's the last part of the song. Uh, so there, again, there's two riffs that are just back to back. So the first one goes like this. Okay, so it's, those chords are open. They're all on the bottom of the string. Zero, one, zero, five, four, one, and that's one cycle, so. again and right in there it, it, in that second part it just goes into these notes again the ones that from previous fourth on the second and fifth on the third so all together it's And then uh, after the second time it does it, it, it adds some of these other notes. I'll show you how that, so that goes. It goes. That's one. Two. On the third one, when it goes into that, it goes. Okay, so that's, those notes are octaves here on the, so the fifth string, eighth fret. Third string, tenth fret, and you're only gonna get those two. So you're gonna use this finger to kind of block off as many as you can, including the sixth string. So you could use your middle finger as well. But you should be able to strum through all the strings. See? So you hold that pat that shape. You play it twice and slide it up two frets, and then you get the fifth fret. So, and then it goes back to this other riff again. Then it starts this over here again. So let me play it up to that point from the beginning. So it goes. To that next part so let me tell you all the spots so it's and i'm using the index finger as the point of reference so eight ten five does it twice then it goes three five Last part it goes. So I'll play that whole thing slowly from the beginning. So it goes. Sorry.
that's it. That's the whole song. And that's how you play Crows by While She Sleeps. If you like the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to send a request after you subscribe, drop it in the comments your request. Also, make sure to follow me on social media. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. It's in the description below. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.